Okay, Marie, I'm going to try and show you how to do the Blood Knot Shield in Fringe. I've never done a tutorial before, so excuse me, you know, if there's mistakes and whatnot. Um, so I normally use um, a little utility knife. Um, it's a good idea to make sure that your blade is pretty sharp, brand new, if you will, so that it cuts clean and well. And then I um, I use a uh, lacing needle. I got it at Tandy's. Yeah, so that helps me. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is... Um, I make the fringe first. You don't, you don't have to, but this is the way I do it. Um, I take the strip, the, the leather lace, and, you know, I... I uh, from where the fringe is going to hang in the, the bag, I measure the lace to where I want it to be hanging from, and then I just fold it in half, and then that's your, that's your, uh, you know, that's what you're using. So I take the lace in it all, put it right in the middle. And I kind of give it a, a squeeze and a turn, and then you see the, the difference in color right there. It helps me figure out where I need to put the first mark. And I just lay it down right here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, so then right underneath where this mark is, the discoloration. Uh, I'll put my blade right in the middle, press down into the cutting board, take the lace, and pull up. Um, usually I make sure the slit is, uh, I would say, a centimeter, centimeter long. Okay, and then and then what you're gonna want to do with with each of these is you're gonna want to cut it into a point, so that it's easy to get through the slit in the leather. So here's the fold. You put this back. I put it back here, and then you can see, you can see the, the cut. So I take. Hold it, and then you just take the piece behind it, and you I usually do it with my other hands, so it's a little awkward. I'm trying to be it show you so you can see it on the camera. Uh, Plus, I just cut my nails, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> it's kind of tricky. And when I'm cutting the, the slit in the leather, I try to make sure it's about a centimeter, maybe a little bit longer. That way, when you're threading it through, when you're installing it onto the bag, you, the leather has a little bit of room to... Uh, adjust and make room for the leather that's going in there. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sheesh. Alright, so there you go. Let's just pull it. Pull it through. And you have the loop where the base is gonna hang on the bag on the on the back. So I just my gauge is you know this right here. Just make sure that this piece is the uh, just need the wrong way. Just straight like so straight as possible. Horizontal as possible, I should say. 
you put not too tight but you know just enough so that it's not moving around and the next slit that you're gonna put is gonna be right here okay it's the same thing you put it down Hook down. And I, I, I don't do it right at the top where the V is. I move down a little bit. So that way, like I said, it gives it room to, to expand when you're installing it. Okay. And then piece behind. Push it through. Pull it through, and then you have, so you have two little knots so far, one and two. And you do however many knots corresponding to the length, corresponding to the number of holes that you put on each side of the chain for stringing it across. So say we have the shape and you have six holes on each side. That's what I'm doing now. Six holes on each side. You make one, two, three, four, five, six knots down. Okay. And then when you when you when you're done making a knot, you can use your leather lacing needle to open it up a little bit to make sure it's not too tight so that when you thread it it's not super hard for you to pull through because sometimes that's the problem I have I make it too tight and then I end up having sore hands at the end because you know I'm fighting with the leather and then we just keep going slit Now what you could do to make it easy is um, install the lacing needle at the end of each of these ties. You could twist it on and then you can thread it easier that way. But I don't like taking it off and putting it on every single fringe. It's, to me that's, I don't know, that takes longer than just... Using my hands to get it through. So once again, I make sure it's horizontal. Right here. So, so then so far we did that. So push it through to make sure it's not too tight. Like that. And you're ready for the next one. So usually I, when you when you start to make a lot of knots, I just fold, just push that part back and lay it down. It's easier for me to make the mark that way.
Sometimes it might look kind of weird when you're making this, but once you install it on there, everything will look, it'll shrink up and it won't look so, no, it won't look so weird. That even makes sense. <laughs> Now there's no, I think there's more than one way to do this. So this is not like the be all end all of blood knot tying. Um, this is just the way that I do it because I like the way it has the smooth and the suede, the smooth and the suede. And you can also do it where it's all smooth as well. It just depends on, you know, how you want it to look, how your client wants it to look and so forth. Please excuse my, my hands. My skin is super dry. We live in a cold climate. It's, we got snow on the ground and uh, Richmond's leather takes all the moisture out of my hands. So when I'm doing a project, it's, you know, I, I let them be dry because I don't want to get the oils on the bag or the leather. Unless, you know, the look is supposed to be like that. Then I don't mind so much. So, um, the number of fringes that you put on is basically, you see how wide the shape is, is going to be, how wide it is. And it's just, you now you trial and error, you know, this particular, uh, doing a, uh, a bag nose, I'm not, I, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Anyways, uh, I use eight. So right now I have six. Just need two more. So um, that's the gist of that. Um, I'll do another video when, when I'm stringing it to show you how to do that. So probably gonna make a bunch of a couple of different clips just to show you. So the one that the lace I'm gonna string it on. I just guesstimate how long I need it. I tie it in on one side and then I take the lacing needle, right, and thread it. And it has threads on the inside, so you just screw it on basically to the leather. Push it down so that it goes inside there and it'll like a like a screw in the wall it'll eventually start feeding itself nice and tight make sure it's not going to come off and then <clears throat> take it and do the 
push it through the first first one okay I'm doing this with one hand so super awkward Be strong like this across. Okay, these are tucked down to help cover shape, right? So and fall off <laughs> okay so here we go you have this right you, you take your lace and you're threading that way so take it to the top make sure that the lace is all going the same direction so it's not being twisted right. just pull it through take the back off the hanger because it seems like it's going to be the best for me to show you all right so you have it right you just push it all the way down so it meets the bag and then you just continue stringing the rest of the, the rest of them More like that. Okay. Now just hold down the these pieces. Wrap it around. Just make sure that it that part meets the back. 
Okay, that's going to work. So. Okay, so. That's what I have, right? I'm going to put it through the other side. To get this all that's the start of it so now just bring it around wrap it around the back bring it through this hole second hole and you're gonna insert it into this next into this next knot and you continue on down, wrapping, threading it through, wrapping, threading it through, wrapping, threading it through. So then it's looking like this in the back. There's your tie. 
This is going to get tucked down in here. And you're going to wrap it around again like that. <clears throat> and keep going and going until you're done. And then when you're done with it, if it's the very end, you tie another knot like this or fasten it however you wish to fasten it. Okay, so here is the side that I finished already. Uh, the fringe is already trimmed to the bottom of the bag. There is, there are eight fringes going around. So this is what I mean by um, six holes on either side of the cheek. Six holes on either side of the cheek. All right, so I did all six, seven passes and there's the shield. And all the fringe that I'm going to cut in a minute. And then on the back, this is what the back looks like. I tied my knot for my end. I just put it through here. Pull it tight. Get the snip. Take this one. Get that down in there. So it's out of the way. I would give it a hammer, hammer the back to set it. That's usually what you do, uh, like to the, like to, this is what a regular blood knot looks like. And I hammered this down because that, uh, sets it. So. And you have the, you know, the fringe. And it just has to be trimmed. If you have any other questions, uh, let me know.